Hello. This book is called The Moon Rabbit, and it's by Natalie Russell. It's a pretty book. I like it. See, it's got such pretty flowers. I like those flowers. Moon Rabbit. Little Rabbit liked living in the city. She had her own place to stay, her favorite cafe, and so many things to see and do. But late at night when everything was quiet and Little Rabbit was all alone, she would look up at the moon and wonder if someone were out there. Someone she could play with, laugh with, and have fun with. Someone just like her. It would be nice to meet another little rabbit, she thought. When the city became very busy, little rabbit would go to the park to read her book. One day, as little rabbit read, she heard the most beautiful music floating in the air. She lay back and listened. The park was so peaceful and the sun was so warm that Little Rabbit's eyes began to close. And very soon she was fast asleep. When Little Rabbit woke up, the sun had gone and the moon was shining brightly. It was past Little Rabbit's bedtime, but in the distance, she could still hear music, and it was the kind of music she liked. So Little Rabbit picked up her book and followed the sound through the trees. And there she saw a rabbit, a brown rabbit who was playing a guitar, making music that made Little Rabbit want to dance. So she stayed for a while. As Brown Rabbit played, Little Rabbit danced. Then Little Rabbit told tales of the city and Brown Rabbit listened. Together they watched the changing moon till the birds sang to the morning sun. And for a little while, Little Rabbit forgot about her life back in the city. The two rabbits had picnics in the sunshine and games of hide and seek. They made each other laugh and Little Rabbit was happy to have found a new friend. But then, one dark night, Little Rabbit saw the city lights glowing in the distance and suddenly felt sad. The city is so beautiful, she sighed. Brown Rabbit was quiet. How could anything be as beautiful as the moonlit park, he, moon park, he thought. Brown Rabbit didn't like to see his new friend feeling sad, so he played his guitar and danced around Little Rabbit. He even stood on his head, anything to make her laugh or to see her smile, but there was nothing he could do to make her happy. Time for me to go home, said Little Rabbit. So early the next morning, Little Rabbit returned to the city. Oh, look, there she is. She's in a taxi. Back to her home, back to her favorite cafe, and back to all the things she liked to see and do. And she no longer gazed at the moon and wondered if there were someone out there, another rabbit just like her. Because she knew that there was, and he was coming to visit the very next day. And he came, and they visited each other back and forth. And there's the pretty leaves, I think they're so pretty. It's a pretty little book. And that's the end.